Hi, everybody. Welcome to Makeup Monday. I hope everybody is well today. Today, I am doing a review on a brand that was recommended by Mrs. Melissa and Beauty. She was talked about the Mora products. That's M-O-I-R-A. And I got it from Amazon. It was only $16, which isn't bad. The packaging, look at this beautiful packaging. It is just luxury packaging. And I got the Celestial Love Palette, which has some pinks in it. As you know, I love pinks. But there are also some neutral colors in here. So, yeah, it is a gorgeous palette. And I am just going to try it out. I'm going to swatch a few of them for you and just see how they look on my arm and then I'll put some on my face. And they had, let me see what kind of names they have on these beautiful colors and it has a mirror. So this is a beautiful little palette, just beautiful. And let's see here, we've got, how do they name these? Demure, Adore, Dear Love, Bella, Sweet Dreams, Blushed, Unforgettable, Angelic, which is a shimmer, I can see. Then we've got Paradiso, Hush, Mine, Amore, Spicy, Fire Haze, and Soulmate. So we have two dark colors here. This is like a really, really deep purple, and this is a medium brown here. And we've got this one right here, which is very pretty. And this one, so we've got, looks like we've got two, two very uh, shiny ones. This is the shiniest one here. And then this one is a bit of a shine as well. And so let's see, what do I want to do today? I think I will start with the Dear Love up here, which is a very light peachy color. And let's see how it swatches. Very pretty. It's not bad. And then the Adore, which is a pink color they're not very pigmented. They're very soft, though. They're very soft. And then let's do this angelic, which is a shimmer. Pretty. Uh, it's, it's a very light, light pigment, but we'll see how it looks on the eyes. I've already done my makeup. As you can tell, and I've used concealer on my eyelids. So let's go ahead and start working on my eyes. I like this little pink one. So I'm gonna start with the Dear Love, which is, whew, whoa, lots of fallout. You just have to tap these off very carefully. That's not bad. It's a very soft pigment. A very soft pigment. Let's see if it's buildable at all. Yeah, it's very pretty. It definitely needs to be shaken off quite a bit. And then, of course, with my hooded eyes, I always put the color a little bit above my crease. Thank you. 
I think it's very pretty. It's a lot like that color from e.l.f., that cream shadow that we did the other day. It's very similar to that color. Very pretty. I like it. So then I'm going to use my little sponge here, which I love, which everybody should have in their makeup collection. These sponges are very inexpensive. Practically every cosmetic company sells them now. Elf has them, Amazon. I got this one from Amazon years ago, and I love how big it is. It's really nice. Okay, so there is that one. Now, the next color I'm going to use is right next to it, and it's called Ro Adore. It's called Adore. And that is this color right here. I am partial to pink and peach. Those are my favorite colors for my eyes. And then I am just going to put this on my lid. Oh, very pretty. Very soft colors. So if you like soft colors and not too vibrant, I highly recommend more. They're very, very nice. Look how, I mean, they're so soft and not glaring at all. Oh my, so pretty. I'm going to get a little bit daring and I'm going to put, I've got a purple shimmer down here called Fire Haze, <laughs> right here. So I am going to, since this is a little bit of a shimmer, what I do with my shimmers is I put on my finger, ooh, look how pretty that is. And then I put a little bit of setting spray to wet it down. And then it gives a little bit more of a shimmer when you put it on your eye. Ooh. That is very pretty. Look how gorgeous that is. Really, really pretty. Very, very impressed with this palette. I like that it's very soft. Oh, I got a little bit of that up here, unfortunately. I'll just have to try and blend that out a little bit. And yeah, um, It is, it dries down real quick. And, hmm, not sure about the shimmers. I'm going to put a lighter shimmer on top. pretty um I guess I would give this maybe a three out of five I mean the pigments are very very nice um, as you can see the pigments are really really nice like this is the dark brown very very pretty so I'm gonna go ahead and you can just see these really pretty colors. They are really pretty. So 
soft pastel -y, I would say. Even though some of these are dark, I would definitely call them pastels because they are very light and very soft. So I like them very, very much. Now what I'm going to do is what I do when I want to get fancy. I am going to use the darkest color in here, which is the first shimmer that I put on my face my face. Actually, this was the first shimmer that I used. I'm going to use this dark color here and I'm going to attempt. This is usually how I do my eyeliner. I will use the dark darkest color in the palette and then I will put that along the top of my eyelashes. just like you would an eyeliner. And then I come underneath here and I come up. And out, and that is how I normally do my wing liner. And then I'm going to take a little brush and kind of smudge that out under my eye. Now, I'm not an eyeliner fan as far as under the eye. This is the first time I've actually tried it. I don't like it on me. I don't know if you want to give me some feedback. I don't really think it looks good on me to put eyeliner underneath my eyes, but that's just me. So I really don't do it often. See, so now I'm getting fancy. I'm trying to do a little bit of a cat eye here. Yeah. And then I will take my little smudge brush here and and smudge that out a little bit. This is actually a very new look for me. I've never done this before. I just don't think it looks good on me, but makeup is for fun to experiment. And if you don't like it, you don't have to do it again. Right. But, um, yeah, I think it's a very, very nice palette. I really don't have any complaints about it. Um, as long as you shake off the excess before you put them on your eyes. Otherwise I think there's going to be a lot of fallout. I did not experience any fallout with any of these shades that I put on, and I really, really like it. I'm not overwhelmed by it, but I like it, so I really don't have anything bad to say about it. And I'm just going to put some mascara on. I really love this e.l.f. mascara. It's the Lash It Out Loud mascara. It's very nice. And and there we go. So, 
There is the Mora Celestial Love Palette. Very, very pretty. Very, very soft. The shimmers are pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. So I highly recommend this as a nice budget company as far as eyeshadows. I don't think I saw anything over $20 as far as their eyeshadow palettes on Amazon. I got this one on Amazon. So before I end, I'm just going to go in here and I am going to really blend this out. Because I see it's a little bit patchy using it as an eyeliner. So I am just going to soften this up. It looks a little bit... Yeah. It looks better when you soften it up. And I even attempted my cat eye today. So yeah, there we go. So that's the Mora Celestial Love. They do have other palettes on there. They have more neutral palettes if you like neutral colors. And that's it. Take care, everybody, and have a wonderful Monday. And I'll see you next week. Bye.